Hey, what's happening gamers? It's Kaywing here, back with another Retro Monday. Today's classic game, NBA Jam for the Sega Genesis. Frankly, I've just never been a huge fan of the sports genre. Madden is still Madden, but with a new roster, same with NBA and the NHL games. That kind of stuff just really gets stale super fast. However, the Midway sports games were another story. See, Midway took the arcade approach to the sports game and made them really fun. NBA Jam released in the arcades in the summer of 1993, and it was one of the first sports games to include real NBA licensed teams and players. That was a pretty big deal for its day, folks. After becoming a smash hit in the arcades, it released on both the Super Nintendo and the Genesis the following year, and became a stellar hit in 94 on the consoles. Gameplay consists of two-on-two b-ball arcade-style action. Players have a turbo run, and after scoring three points in a row, your character is on fire. Meaning, he has unlimited turbo and better three-pointers and monster jams. What made this game stand out from the other basketball games at the time is the fact that slam dunking defied the laws of physics. Boom shakalaka! Even the smallest guy on your team could get some serious air. Is it the shoes? Another change is the fact the game really has no rules whatsoever, except for goaltending and 24 second violations. Other than that, it's open season for an elbow sandwich to the face. Ooh. One of the things I didn't like about this game is the exclusion of Michael Jordan. Midway didn't get the rights to license Air Jordan or his likeness for this game at all. Which, even as a kid, I didn't really understand that. Not having Jordan in this game was actually a letdown because I was a big Bulls fan at that time. And for a guy living in New York, that was pretty dangerous with all the Knicks fans. Personally, what I can't stand about this game even now was its uh, challenge factor. See, the computer opponents you face are pretty smart for their day, and unlike the arcade game, it's a lot harder to go on fire facing an AI rival team. Yet the other team can do it to you, and it's so frustrating. The last thing I actually don't like about this game is from a personal experience I had playing with my cousin oh, about 15 years ago. See, he was a Genesis fanboy and I Nintendo, so we clashed and debated a lot as kids. When my family was visiting his in Nashville, we were in his basement playing a lot of Genesis games and having a blast, up until we started playing NBA Jam. For a while, he was the one only having fun and the score wasn't even close. Although eventually, the matches got closer and I got better, but then he grew eerily silent. I'm telling you guys, you could just feel the anger vibe he was giving off. He was getting so mad. At the time, that just sucked all the fun out of the Genesis version of NBA Jam for me. And I still remember it all these years later. Still, all the insane dunking you can do in this game makes up for the little problems I had when I was little. Seriously, who doesn't love to razzle and dazzle the net? or set it on fire. NBA Jam is meant to be played co-op. Playing single player is fine, but in order to fully immerse yourself in what this game had to offer, you had to play this with a friend. If players wanted to, you could play on the same team or against one another, which I would actually strongly suggest playing on the same team if possible. It uh, diminishes a lot of the anger factor. Plus, it's a lot more fun that way, trust me. Looking back on this game, NBA Jam is just a fun game and holds up well after all these years. It featured the digital likeness of real NBA stars, had all the official teams, and even some hidden characters just for laughs. With NBA Jam being revived after all these years, I thought it would be fun to look back at the original. Don't worry, I plan on reviewing the Wii one later this fall. With that being said, I recommend you guys and gals play this title. Alrighty, that does it for another Retro Monday review. Keep checking back every Monday to see another classic game review in the old school K-Wing style. Don't forget to stay up to date with me on Twitter to see what retro reviews are in the works and what next-gen games are coming to GameZone and God Game. That definitely does it for me gamers. God bless and happy gaming. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and until we meet again gamers.